What's going on everybody? Come back and let's talk about this little knife right here. guys what's going on how is my outdoor crew doing I'm doing great all right this video is our first impressions of the open L carbon steel knife made in France um, first off I want to say we're gonna look at this as a backup option to your bushcraft knife or survival knife is what I'm going to say because I do a little bit of everything so not just stuck on the one with the bushcraft it could also be helpful in a survival situation or grid down situation whatever one of the main things you want to be able to do with your grid down knife if you don't have lighters and that kind of stuff available is you want to be able to strike a ferro rod with your knife so one of the main components in that is the steel's got to be hard enough to strike and make a spark off of that uh, ferro rod. Well, that's where this carbon steel open L come in, comes in open L. Remember, I'm a southern. Uh, all carbon steel knife comes into play. Now, these are not expensive knives. Uh, this particular one's number nine. I paid 15 bucks for it on Amazon. I will leave a link down below to this knife on Amazon if you want to pick one up if you don't have one if you'd like to have one let's, me sh let's show you real quick how it works now Dave Canterbury has one of these too and the, he's got an older version that doesn't have the safety clip or the safety ring where it closes to keep the knife from coming open when it's like that that knife will not come open so you have to spin this a little bit to open that knife and then you spin it again to keep the knife from coming down on you because that was one of the problems with these knives um, they used to call them old penny knives this company's been around since 1860s so it's been around for a long time so they've vastly improved the knife since its beginning and what would happen with these things because it's in this birch wood uh, piece of wood it just has a pin going through there and after a while of opening and closing it get kind of flimsy and well, you can imagine what would happen to your finger there if it accidentally, or you come open a little bit and you reach in your pocket to get it and that would hurt. I will tell you, out of the box, that bad boy is sharp as all get out. Now, it's number nine. You can see my, my newer bushcraft knife that I would use, or survival knife, either one, uh, sitting here before you. I haven't done anything on this one yet. I really haven't been able to out, go out and smack it around much or do much with it. But it's a CF Key Cutlery Company handcrafted knives. Now I've heard some good and I've heard some bad things about these things. So I don't know how it's going to hold up, but we're going to take it out this year and we're going to beat on it a little bit. We'll see if it breaks the blade. It's a thick blade. That's pretty darn thick. But that's not what this one, this video is about. It's not about this knife, but it is about what this knife can do. So, main thing, be able to start a fire. And a knife plays into that a lot if you plan right and have your have the equipment right. You always have a ferro rod with you. If I have a ferro rod with me, I can pretty much start a fire. Um, I keep always keep a lanyard on it so I can wrap it on my big knife and keep it locked in so that way it doesn't come out of that pouch. It's always on that with that knife. So let's um we're gonna cut here we're gonna do some ferro rod striking and make you see how it works we're just gonna step out in the driveway and then we're gonna do a little feather sticking um forgive me because all the sticks around here are wet so it is what it is all right guys i'll be back in just a minute we're gonna set up outside and go from there okay i got a little stick out of the backyard and as you can see this knife here we can get some good shavings off of it and that's that's what you need when you're processing your wood 
make your feather sticks. And these, all this is going to be soaking wet because of all the rain we've had. But you see how I'm shaving that down. So that's that's a plus. So let's get open now. Open now. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, we're getting good shavings with that. So yeah, I can make some feather sticks. Look at that. So I can make some good feather sticks with that thing. Then, ferro rod. So this is my main. Now if your ferro rod looks like that, it's black coated. Make you a couple good scrapes on it to get that coating off. And then start pulling. You can see the leaves a little marking on your knife, wipes off. So now, airplane landing. So now we're going to take the open L and let's see how it does. Oh, yeah. There you go. Got some good sparks. Now, here's the cool thing about this knife. If you don't want the blade open when you're doing something like this. Look at there. It's throwing some sparks. So that's what you want. Okay, so to finish off our um, first impressions of this knife, I think it'll do what you got to do. Um, don't worry about, if you worry about getting the black marks on your knife, like so, they'll wipe off. They'll wipe off. The best thing about this one is it has that hard, sharp spine. So it's able to get hold of that ferro rod and make you a good spark off of it. And as you'll see on this knife, it's got good, sharp, hard spine. And that's what you want in a good wood bushcraft or survival knife. So my first impressions, it's going to be going with me outdoors quite a bit. Um, I'm going to really thrash on a little bit more and see how she holds up. Now, remember, it's $15. It's a birch wood handle, carbon fiber, or carbon fiber, carbon, high carbon steel blade. And this is all tool steel probably as far as the rest of it goes. So the main thing is, is to keep this thing old, keep the blade old. Um, a lot of times I use ballastol on my blades even to keep them old. And, you know, eventually it gets into the metal and helps. So anyways, guys, this is my first impression of the Open L Carbon. This is number nine. I will leave the description below a link to where you can look at one of those. Um, they have different sizes. Uh, you got to catch them at the right time. They'll be in stock. But this is, remember, made in France. So that's my first French knife. All right, guys. Be prepared.